Strategical is the name. Age of Wonders 3 is the game. And in this, I continue my Eternal Lords playthrough. Part 3. Grimdark. The Crazed. Let's have a quick look at my city. Turn the hexes off. Look at those lovely piles of skulls. Actually, I didn't, I didn't realize at first that uh, this terrain here is fertile plains. And I thought, that doesn't look very fertile. And then I realized what was growing out of the ground. Gravestones. So not only do we have a city built on huge piles of skulls, but uh, the fertile plains are graveyards. <laughs> I think that's a rather cool touch. Anyway, enough of this nonsense. It's time for a bit of strategy. Time we took a look at the uh, strategic situation. Now, I know that not much has happened so far in this game. But, you know, like all 4X games, it takes a while to really develop and get interesting. And we haven't really got going yet. At the moment, I'm still in the exploration phase, but that's going to come to an end soon. And it's going to be all about consolidation. So let's look at a few interesting strategical facts. Number one, my arch enemy up there, whatever his name is, I can't remember now. Um, the Tigran guy, the Tigran Dreadnought. He has refused to make peace with me. Hasn't declared war yet, but... He's refused to make peace. And over here is a Tigran city, an independent city, and they're at war with him. So he is going to attack that city and capture it. Just like I attacked Whiteport, which was a frostling city, who were hostile toward me. In contrast, Trongard over here is also a frostling city, but they were friendly toward me, so I'm, I'm remaining friendly with them. I'm going to absorb them into my empire peacefully. I'm not going to attack them. But what of the other cities? Well, this one here, Hasidi, is also a Tigran city. So this is naturally going to be absorbed into the Tigran empire. However, they are peaceful and friendly toward me. I've made friends with them, so... That's kind of cool. So it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. Whether I can actually keep them on my side or not. I'm actually at peace with all of the minor cities except two. Trontgath down here, which is a ghastly, horrible human city. For some reason they've taken a dislike to me. Can't understand these humans. And their green fields. I mean, what is wrong with those people? They don't like me, so I'm going to have to attack them at some point. Um, that city is going to be mine. And there's another one up here, Benarius, which is an Archon city. Archons are pure evil. They're kind of like robot creatures. They are truly horrible, not to mention pretty darn strong. Why am I saying darn? I'm not American. Pretty damn strong. And uh, I'm currently running away from them. Now, I'm hoping that they may cause the Tigrans problems. Um, the Tigrans, I've noticed, are starting to tend toward evil. I'm not. Um, so it's possible they could become friendly with the Archons if they become sufficiently evil. But at the moment, well, I don't, I don't know. I mean, at the moment, they hate me, but I'm not the Tigrans. So you never know, they could become friendly with the Tigrans. But I'm hoping that they won't, and that they may have a few battles. They'll probably capture it, but I'm hoping they'll take a bit of damage en route. Now then, strategy. I need to consolidate my empire. And what is my empire? Well, basically, it's the Icelands. Everything west of this river is, well, it's sort of warm tropical lands up there and green stuff down there, temperate. This is where the ice starts, along this river. Everything to the south, all of this here is ice. 
and this over here is ice. I don't know about this area yet. So I need to consolidate this area and fortunately this the fact that we have this river running down here makes an, makes an excellent border to defend. There are two bridges, one there to the southwest and one to the northwest, northwest of my capital here. These would be two very easy bridges to defend, lots of mountains around as well, so I think I'll probably build a couple of fortifications there and there. Over on this side, we have a bridge going over to Trongard, which is going to become part of my empire. And further up, we have more ice and another bridge. And there's some good resources around here, so this spot here looks like a good place to build another city with probably a fortress to defend it. And um, of course there's another way across there, so I might need to defend against that bridge. Unless I capture this area as well, but you know, let's not get ahead of myself. An unknown is here. What What is going on here? I haven't completely explored this yet. I don't know if there's a land route through there, or it may just be continuous water. There may not be a way through there. There may be a bridge. I don't know. Looks like there's a bit of a lake there. Not sure about that yet. Um, but I, I'm guessing it, there's going to be a water route through there. But there might also be a bridge. But, you know, might need some defense there. Uh, another good spot to build a city would be around here. Because I've got quite a few resources which... These cities, even when they expand to their fullest, they're not going to grab all these resources. So a city around here would be a good idea. So one city there, one city there. And that will give me a core empire of five cities. There's also the question of this corner of the map. I don't know what's down there. I don't think there'll be a city there because I've we've got the correct number of cities already. There's probably no cities there, but there might be stuff down there that we'll need dealing with. And that's basically my strategy. So I've got to start, I've got to build a builder or two and um, start building a few forts and also some settlers. And I could probably do with putting up a couple more towers so I can keep an eye on things. I, at the moment I've got one tower there which will be easy enough to keep hold of once I build a city there. I've got a tower up there, which I won't. That, that could easily be captured. And there's a tower there, which is in a good position, which keeps an eye on this whole area. Um, not sure where else I'd need to build a tower yet, but so far so good. That's my basic uh, plan. And of course, when I get a bit stronger, head west, capture the city of Trongath, and um, who knows, see if Hasidi might want to join me. I suspect the Tigrans will um, either try to become friendly with them or attack them. And if they do attack them and capture that city, then if they've been friendly with me first, if I can recapture it, they may become friendly to me. I might get a liberation bonus or something. I don't know. I'm not sure if, if the game does that sort of thing. What I do know, though, is that this is horrible tropical stuff, which my ice people don't like. So even if I do get this city, I'll probably have to turn it to ice and stuff, which the Tigrans who live there wouldn't like. And, well, I'll probably have to kill them all anyway, because I'm a necromancer. I want to make them all dead. Um. Because, let's face it, they wouldn't be very happy if they were alive. They'd be much happier when they're dead. So, I'll probably end up having to kill everybody anyway. Which is what being a necromancer is all about. Cool or what? So, I'll let's zoom in and see what's going to happen. Oh, click to end turn. This will be fun. Oh, independence. Encroaching. Ah. Well, isn't that tricky? 
My ghoul frostling harpoon thrower is being attacked by three lost souls. Very likely defeat. Well, I'm going to do a manual combat anyway because I, I enjoy fighting battles with hopeless odds. Um, at least he's a harpoon thrower. Okay, so... The one thing I can do is death ray them. Siphon life, vengeful frost. Well, they're frostlings, so it's not going to do a huge amount of damage, but I will do my best to uh, death ray these people. Didn't do much, and I've only got 30 more mana points left, so there's no way I'm going to be able to destroy them with uh, spells alone. So I'm going to resort to the classic Monty Python tactic of run away. Your turn, Independence. My turn. Run away. And uh, give him another death ray. So try to take at least one of them out. Nope. That didn't happen. No, it's not going to. Hey, Grimdark the Craved. Grimdark the Depraved. Where is the edge of this map? Hmm. I think I'll run this way this time. And are there any spells I can cast? No, there aren't. So I'm out of mana. Can't cast any more. Next turn. This is going to be brief. Unfortunately, I do not think I can run away from combat. Hang on now, come on. Where's the... Where's the edge? I don't think I can escape. I can, if you're attacking, you can move to these spaces and retreat. But I don't believe you can do that when you're defending. Which is unfortunate. Not sure if it's worth trying or not. Um, okay. What's going on here? Let me see. I could take out a couple of them. I don't know what the range is. I'm going to go there and attack those. Well, I've got rid of one of them. That's something. So the odds are down to two to one. Ouch. Flanking as well. That's not good. Okay, now... Target will retaliate. The problem is, I've got a lot of... Um, I'll try and run away back here, and I'll probably get attacked as I try to run away. Yes. I thought that would happen. Disengaging from melee is very risky. Oh well. There's only one unit. You can easily build another one. The village of Whiteport produced an Embalmer's Guild. Oh, I'm so pleased to hear that. Now then. I need to... I need to grow this city. It's only a, a village at the moment. I need to grow it, and the way to do that is... Bones. Unfortunately, 
that would take me eight turns. But it's growing anyway at 250 a turn. Um, yeah, that's too expensive. I'll just um, produce ice scapers then, and I'll I'll stick that there to queue the items. I'll just produce cheap ice scapers each turn. Omen of the Dove. Four turns left. No player can declare war. Damage redu is reduced by minus three. Oh, okay. Cosmic happening. Here we are. Domain invasion at Ice Core. Oh, oh. Shh. Am I allowed to say shit? Shit. Army independence war. What is going on here? There's independence in my territory. Three hexes away from my city, my capital. Oh my god. Goblins. Could they actually capture my city? I mean, it wouldn't be game over because I've got two, but seriously, I cannot let a bunch of gobbies capture my capital city. Um, I... Right, there's only four of me, but my other army has more important things to do, so I'm going to attack them with four with my new army of... No, I can't get there this turn. I can't get there this turn. Oh, does that mean I... Can they go around me and get into my city? Oh, no. I thought I could attack them. Well, that was a big blunder, wasn't it? What about them? Can they get... They can get there. Okay, you'll have to do that. And we can all get in on the act. Very likely victory. Manual combat. In fact, they are so totally outnumbered. I think I think I'll um I think I'll auto combat this for the sake of uh, a quick battle. I think all my units are at full strength. Let's zoom into tactical. What's going on? And I'll um, toggle auto combat and just let the computer play through this. I hope it won't be stupid enough to get any of my units killed. Should be an easy fight. Right, so my ice scapers throw snowballs to freeze the enemy units. And then when they attack them, they shatter them. Which is pretty cool. Oh. Grimdark has cast something. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, hang on. That is he on my side? Yes, yes, that's my other leader, my new leader. Throwing ice balls. I do like all these evil dead units. And there you go. It's all over. I attacked Independence. And um, one of my lost souls went up in level. And I got extra dead people for my cities. Yes, actually, I want to grow my cities. And I, I keep forgetting every time I kill people, it adds people to my city. So that's, that's perfect. Right now... We've got the dreaded Archons over there somewhere, so I want to stay away from them. I also do want to do a bit of scouting. And, oh, it would be nice, wouldn't it, to grab this tower. I can't resist it. I've got to grab this tower. 
Very likely victory. I'm going to play this because it's only four to three odds. So what am I up against? Looks like gobbies. Right then, let's give me a better view of this map. Let's zoom in a bit. So, goblin marauders. Heavy melee units. Goblin swarm darters. And goblin untouchables. Who do spit attacks. Poison spit 11. And they do Mosquito Dance 1 4. Okay, well, I. It's the spitting that I want to avoid. So, Frigid. Oh, great. We've got a Death Ray, right? Let's Death Ray the Poison Spitters. Hmm. Didn't do as much damage as I would have hoped, but whatever. The uh, Ghoul Frostling White Witch. I don't know what she's doing. She's going there and she's going to defend. Now these guys, the Frostling Harpoons, I do like my Harpoonies. They're going to do that or that. Oh, they're doing more damage to them. Do some fire damage as well. Inflict Chilling Resisted. Oh. They resist chilling. Okay, more harpoon throws. You go there. And four to six, five to eight. Yeah, we'll go for them. Next. I was about to say do your worst, but no, don't do your worst. Flanking. Damn you. Ouch! Oh my god! Ha! I laugh at your poison spit. Apparently I've got noxious invulnerability. Oh no, noxious vulnerability. Not so good. Right, them. You are going down, mate. Damn, got a bit of damage. Now how about you? Target will retaliate. Ooh, quite a big retaliation too. Um, Goblin Marauder. Yeah. Get there. And attack there. Oh, two attacks. Come on, you can finish them off, can't you? I think you can. Yep, but we are a bit damaged. We are quite seriously damaged, so we really need to uh, take these out. The spitters are still alive. Don't like the poison spitters. Ouch. Oh no! At least it was my leader who will resurge. That is so annoying. You are so totally going down. Target will retaliate. I don't care. You're dead, mate. I never didn't like those spitters. And it seems that I get resurged in the same spot. Which. Strange. I thought the rules, as I said before, I thought the rules were that your heroes come comes back to life in your uh, home city three turns later. But perhaps that's if you lose the battle and get everybody killed, not if just your hero gets killed. Again, there's another 75, so that's great. And I cannot see. Oh, yes, I can. There they are. There's our army. And when I say army, 
I know it's only two people, but seriously, look at them. This is the infantry. Okay, no big deal. 50 health. That's pretty good for a, a tier one unit. But look at this guy. The Archon Titan. 100 health points. 22 melee strike. That is some serious shit. And I need to get away from him. Run away. But the main thing is I got that tower. Now, I'm not going to keep it. They're going to recapture that. But it's giving me a good view around the area. In particular, it's shown me that this is indeed a lake here. And there's no land connection that way. In fact, yes, I can see that there's water all the way around. There is land coming down there, but we've got the river to protect me. So, um, yeah, I'm going that way. Can I go further? Yeah, I'll just get one further away because I do not want him chasing after me. An army requires my orders. Oh, yeah, this is the guy that's coming back. Actually, he's the guy who's going to do a bit of scouting for me, aren't you? You may not like it, but those are your orders, mate. Get scouting this horrible foggy thing. I need to clear this fog. Not too much of it. I don't want to get too close to that Archon City. But this fog will be cleared. Mark my words. How much left can I move? It's an amazing looking ice palace kind of thing there. Hall of the Forefathers. Unexplored. And there's no way I'm going exploring that anytime soon. I'm scared of going into uh, places like that. They are... I've done it before and they're very strong. Okay. Oh, good. I got rid of all that. Gloop, gloop. Nice bit of swampy crap. Blighted fertile plains. And I, I don't want to get too much closer to them. So let's zoom out a bit. Yeah, we've got a decent bit of uh, map exploration there. So there's actually nothing much there. There's nothing on the map and there's nothing. Click to end my turn. Pritar the Crafty is moving. And there's... Oh yeah, there's an independent there. I need to remember that. And they, they're they going to grab that. Yep. Sure enough. No, not sure enough. They didn't capture it. But I do have some independents wandering around. I need to remember that. Don't leave my cities empty. Like that one, for example. Right, you. One lost soul. Move back in there. That leaves you with an army of three and an army of six. Oh, I'm going to move both of the lost. No, that's a frosty nice scaper. He's cheap. I'll move him back in there. Right, now... Let's get moving up here. I'm going to put the two lost souls with you. And me... Right. We have to find that. That's the one. That's what we need to attack. So let's get up there. We've got this quest to complete. Yes, these are distinctly slower, unfortunately. Summon Banshee is ready to cast. Select Hex or on or next to friendly hero. I'm going to put it there. Give me a Banshee. Now we're talking. Our leader is leveled up. Grimdark has leveled up. He's got heal undead. And, um, what else? 
Corsphere, Play. Rain Strands, pretty expensive ones. Protection from light. Spirit protection. I don't. And 20% fire protection. Oh, that's good. Because fire is definitely a problem for me. So I'm going to have protection from light. Thank you. I'm another dove. Three rounds left. And an army requires my orders. Well, we're still alive. And I don't know where those horrible people went. It's quite possible they went over there. And there's haste berries there. So I'm going to go there and grab the haste berries. Which restores all of my movement. Which is very convenient. And I want to find these wandering wanderers wherever they are. Now I'm wondering what to do with this guy. That's four points. Blighted Fertile Plains, six points. For the wetlands, where's the hexes? I'll move him there, just to uncover a bit more. Aha, there's a bridge. Why, that doesn't cost too much. And what's that? Yep, that's where they are. Kind of suspected they would be. So should I wander up here and just do some more recon? Keep running away from them. I'm not going to be able to get very far if I go that way. No, I'm going to come back. It's the sensible thing to do. So there you go. I'll have to scout those other areas later. Click to end turn. Oh, interestingly, my mana's run out. Because of the uh, summons that I've made, I'm not getting any more mana, so I should try not to cast any spells now. Independence, right, they're sneaking away over there. And there's that other guy. And there's some more. And more. Right, we've got a lot of wandering monsters now, which I guess are the civilization equivalent of barbarians. Right, produced an ice scaper. Good, stay where you are. You're going to produce another one. Fine. And we've produced a frostling reanimator. Let's have a look at this guy. He's not bad. I think my army is big enough for now. I'm going to leave him there. I'm going to camp him. Um, Harbingers of death researched. Oh, yes. You and your heroes become powerful arch liches. Leaders and all heroes become undead and get night vision and lich aura. Lich aura bestows a bunch of stuff, which is cool. And... Turns living units that start the strategic unit in the stack into ghouls, unless they are dragons, elementals, boats, or machines. Empire-wide effect. Cool. I'm really chuffed I got that. Greater disjunction? Very expensive. I don't need that. Right. Seafaring I'm probably going to need at some point. Um, necromancy, dark ritual. Sacrifice is a hundred. Actually, that dark ritual could be good for defending. Yeah, that could be very good as a defense in case I get attacked from behind, which I'm starting to worry about. Home of the doves, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I've received a proposal from 
Pritter the Crafty. Would you be interested in our offer? He's making me an offer, is he? I will accept. I am now at peace with Prittar. Select production. Right, well I'm not going to build up huge armies now. I need to start building up... Oh, I could do with some, some more troops. Yes, I could do with more troops. Produce Builder's Hall. With which I can produce builders and settlers. I definitely need a building hall. There you go. That's what I'm building. A building hall. An army requires my orders. This guy here. And who's behind him? Right, let's, let, uh, let's just have a quick look. Three lost souls. Who are just following me for no particular reason. Now then, shall I attack them? Or... Hang on, you lot. You're on my side, aren't you? Have you got any units? To, uh... There's the creatures I need to... Let's, let's deal with this one first. Right, these are the creatures that I need to attack. And there's quite a lot of them. It's going to be a big battle. I don't think he's going to be able to get there, is he? No. Meanwhile, these up here, on their way back... I'm exploring. I can't be bothered with all that nonsense down there. I couldn't get there anyway, even if I wanted to. Um... So, there's still a little bit of fog over there. And definitely a couple of weird... Uh, mer creature cities. Is they merfolk or whatever? Not sure. And I don't think they'll be able to reach me there. I'll just go this way. And try to get those. Okay, an army requires my orders. Him, he's on his way back. Yeah, he needs to get there, but I can't. Gotta go over the bridge, mate. Gotta go the long way around. And, um, another army? Well, oh, they're just waiting for a turn. Click that. An army. Waiting for a turn. An army. Oh, him. Army of Grimdark. No, you're camping there. Click to end turn. You know, I've got a lot of money. I've got 1465 gold. Way more than I started with. I've got loads of gold coming in. Where's it all coming from? Can't spend it fast enough. Right. Turns out they were stupid enough to attack me. Um, very likely victory. And who are they? What have they got? Human Martyr. Oh, he chucks rocks. He throws stones. He can also do... Absorb Pain. Okay. Orc Martyr. He can throw rocks and absorb pain. High Elf Martyr. Same thing. Orc Martyr. It's like the Martyr Army and the Draconian Martyr. Dear, dear. The Martyrs. Attack of the Martyrs. Right. My troops are going to stand their ground for the first turn, I think. And these are going to uh, reinforce. Oh, 
What a lovely chilly day for a battle. I'm, I'm liking the look of this. I can't get that quite right. Okay. Now then. Grimdark. And Norcia. What can she do? Combat spell, unit enchantment. Oh, just one. Berserk. Attempts to cause target enemy unit to go berserk. Oh. Oh, that would be very cool. Yeah, I'll try that. I'm going to try making one of those go berserk. And Draconian Martyr. High Elf Martyr. Orc Martyr. Probably some are more immune than others. I'm gonna... Orcs are pretty stupid, so I'm guessing... Let's try to make the Orc... Ah, he's resisted it. Oh, well. Can I cast any more spells? Nope. Right then, I just need to uh, end the turn. So, most of those will go on defense. And we shall await the attack of the Martyrs. Okay. Oh dear, I pressed next turn. I was, I meant to press spell. Okay. Not to worry. Well, they seem to be picking on my mammoth. What have my mammoth ever done to you? They're all throwing stones at it and my mammoth's just standing there laughing. As if stones are going to affect a mammoth. My mammoth's starting to get slightly irritated now. Stop throwing stones at my mammoth. I picked the right one this time. Vengeful Frost? Siphon Life? No, Dark Gift. Um, your units get Inflict Curse. Yeah, let's Inflict Curse. Cast it. Whoa, watch out, martyrs. I mean business. Harpoon throwing. Banshee. What do banshees do? A wail of despair. Yeah, let's do it. Whatever it is. At everyone. Hang on, how do I do it? Uh, I keep getting this wrong now. Whale of Despair. Click on it and right click, is it? Or has it got to be within range? What is the range? Oh, I just select a hex, right. Hang on. I selected a hex. Have I got to right click the hex? There we go. No. Oh, dear. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got a bit of fear there. By the looks of it. Cursed, I mean. Yeah, let's go for the one that isn't cursed. The High Elf Martyr. Take that, you scummy High Elf. Oh yeah, haven't even begun yet. Um, okay, Norsire the Fast. Gonna do a bit of crossbowing. Ghoul Frostling Raider, get in there. Anybody else? Some lost souls, perhaps? Yeah, I could do with getting a few of these killed, because... They're sucking up a lot of mana each turn. 
I'm preventing me from uh, casting lots of new spells. And I think that's it. We got like next army, next army. Yeah, they're just. to end the turn. Throwing stones at me again. Is that all you can do? Throw stones at me? That stone throwing is starting to irritate me. In fact, not only is it starting to irritate me, it's starting to kill me. Um, Grimdark, Black Bolts, Heal Undead, I gotta heal him. Yeah, but I haven't healed him by much, it's only 20 points, so, oh damn he can't move. This is a job for... Oh, I can't do any more spells. There's only one per turn. That's a bit annoying. Right. Can I get through there? Right, that's mine. Oh, nice hit. Well done, chaps. Oh yeah, you are going down. Narcia's coming in to finish you off. Ah, not quite. Not to matter. Cannot reach target. Well, it will next turn. Hmm, I'm not running out of units, but I am. Not as close as I'd like to be. I hope they don't throw stones against my mammoth again next turn, because that would really irritate me. And probably kill my mammoth. Getting a tad worried about that. Now then. Yeah, shields up. Oh, they're running away. And throwing stones at my mammoth. Stop it. Well, at least that health has kept him alive. And, um... Go on, harpoon him. I like these harpooners. Not the strongest units in the world, but... Oh, yeah. They were quite tough. I mean, okay, I didn't get anybody killed, but I nearly got my mammoth killed. Whoops, that was a bit quick. Very likely defeat. Oh dear, they've... Uh... Right. They've caught up with him. That's unfortunate. Frostling Raider. I'm, I'm just going to auto-combat this. Oh, well, at least um, the auto-combat sent a magic spell to destroy one of them. Which, uh, which means there'll be less to kill when I finally catch up with them. more auto combo. I seem to have done an enormous amount of damage to them. Wow. What? I won? Wow. I am surprised. There's a lot of stuff going on. A new day dawns. Protect the true faith has been completed.
So what, what did I just get? Did I get an Ice Queen? Yep, I got an Ice Queen. I got a nice Queen. For my Ice Queen. Oh yeah. Six turns, I can ask them to join my empire. In the meantime, they are vacillated. Whatever that means. So they give me stuff each turn. Right. So where do I go from here? Right, I've got those little numpties to take care of. Yeah, go on, get them. Very lightly victory, of course. Got very few spellcasting points left, though. Not that I really need them. Go on then, indies. What are you gonna do? You got a ranged weapon? Black bolts. Oh yeah, they look cool. Hang on, dead race corpse. Okay, we'll do the black bolts thing. Draconian scoundrel. Goblin scoundrel. Tigran scoundrel. So we've got the attack of the scoundrels. 610. 812. I'll go for those. Uh, I was wanted to do a range attack. I didn't want to charge in. Not to worry. Get there. Throw harpoon. The white witch. Oh yeah, the white witch has got these colourful bolts of fire and stuff. Which didn't seem to do much. Not to worry. No spells to cast. Next turn. She doesn't have to get attacked a lot. This frigid. Right then, Frigid. Bolts. Come on. They're not gonna withstand that, surely. Are they? And you can get there and do that to them. You can get in there and do a good old bit of melian. And is there one left? Yep, round there. Target will retaliate. And how how much health have I got? Bugger all health. Can I heal myself? Or would it be better to attack? Five to seven times three. How many hit points have I got left? Fifty-two. I can survive that. Dead. That's what I'm talking about. What happened? Where's my... Uh... I'm pretty sure there was a tower there. There was. There was a tower there, and I had it. It was mine. And it's disappeared. What on earth is that? It's probably defended. I'm not going to go for it yet. Um, where do I want to go? What do I want to do? 
Right, I want to kill all the things around my cities. Haste berries owned by me. That not owned by me. Right, I need to send someone off to explore down there. Oh dear. Right, move that way. Not very fast, are you? I'm going to drop that person off. Drop them there. Keep going on your own. That's probably not very sensible. Dense vegetation. Right, have you got some fast units? Yes, that's fast. That's fast. And that's fast. Right, send the fast units over to Bridget. So Bridget now has an, arm, an army of fasties. Right then, they're not particularly fast. Okay. Right, you... Sorry, clicking on the wrong one. You go up and pick up the stragglers. And you can go back. Back home. Right, hero is leveled up. Bridget the Bridget. And what's she gonna do? What's the most expensive thing? Necromancy one. Increases oh and protection from light. Gotta get the protection from light. Yep, protection from light. I forged an alliance with the city of Trongard. How can we help you, our most reverend friend? Well you could give me stuff. Dark ritual researched. Sacrifices 150 to spawn three cadavers. Lovely. But it blights my terrain. Do I like blight? I probably don't. Enemy of the faith. Um, your units gain devout slayer and support slayer. What's that mean? Domain of winter. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Yeah, let's do Domain of Winter. Home of the Doves. Whiteport has grown into a town. Excellent. Whiteport. That's what I need to do. I need to um, bump off those and those. And uh, it's still producing those. Good. Ice Core has grown into a city. Excellent. They need to be destroyed. They need to be destroyed. Okay. Cities is what we're talking about. And you. We've got a little baby army over there. Um. Yeah, come come around there. No. Down here. Another army requires my orders. Waiting for other players. Ooh. White Port produced a Frostling Scraper. And he can produce another one. An army requires my orders. That one. But where am I now? This army, owned by me, we're going to start kicking butt around here. What is this place? 
right click there what is this it's a trading post and it's full of draconians so army can I get my army over there I certainly can let's get them over there you probably can't get there yes you can great let's send everybody in the more the merrier because that's what battles are all about 